So, hey, here I am in my post-op glory. It is 3.30. I think they finished my surgery at 11.30, and I'm finally awake enough to talk to you. Um, so, I um, remember the last video I told you I had to take off my um, acrylic. Got most of it off. It's off this one. <laughs> and it's funny because... It's, these are the other ones. I took it off the first two as best I could. And they put the little thingy on this finger. When I when I first came in. But um, then they moved it to this finger. Now I'm in the... Um, I'm in my regular room. I was in recovery for a while. And um, so the procedure, it was um, uh, just... I don't know. I mean, I was just awake and then I was asleep. But this morning I didn't feel very good. I had a headache. And um, so they, you know, <clears throat> they, see, I'm trying to think. They gave me medicines before I took, before surgery. They gave me um, heparin, I know, as a blood thinner. Um, they went ahead and gave me some oral medications. I think one was ibuprofen, and um, since I've come out of surgery, I've started to have a, a little bit of pain. Um, I noticed I can't reach across my body on this side. This is the side that had the lymph nodes on my right side removed. Um, very good news, of course, and Brad already posted that. Praise God. I'm so thankful that there was they did not see any cancer in the lymph nodes. They're going to send them off for further evaluation. But there was not any cancer. And that was my main concern. <clears throat> and um, so this side feels sore like, you know, you worked out or you worked hard or something like that. Um, I can reach forward okay. Seem to be able to reach right okay. Back, not sure about that. Across my body is hard. <clears throat> And, well, initially I couldn't touch the top of my head, but now I can, so that's good. My other hand has all of this on it, so that's uncomfortable. But I can reach just fine with it. And my left breast, they did the, um, the um, lifting and reducing on, and it feels different. Um, I did. The pain is changing. Um, it feels, it was burning some. I haven't touched them or looked at them or anything besides they're probably wrapped up. I have two drains and um, one drain will probably have to be in for about 18 days and one for about a week is what I was, is what they told, they told Brad everything that they, I haven't seen the doctor and um, Brad's my husband. So they told him all kinds of stuff, but I haven't seen the doctor. And, um, let's see, oh, it'll be about two or three months before I have my final surgery. I'll be coming back to the doctor quite a bit. Um, I will not be showing you my surgery results on camera. Um, I won't be posting anything like that, but, um, I, and I don't really want to show you the drains. You can't see them. I'll just kind of pan around here. I have a nice view of um, the, which bridge is that? Forget. Um, so I'm going to turn the camera around and show you my room. Brad's back in. I'm making a video. Hello, everybody. So there's Brad. He went down to the car to get my stuff. What bridge is that, Brad? The Fuller Warren. Fuller Warren. Okay. Warren. So, and they're having back to back episodes a month, which I like, except I've seen these a bunch of times, so I know what's going to happen. And uh, so, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for your prayers and all of your comments, and um, I just appreciate it, and I'm going to spend the night here tonight, and I will be home tomorrow.